Gradle Enterprise collects metadata about the inputs of every Gradle task and Maven goal that is executed. Examples for such inputs are source files or class paths. Having this metadata allows Gradle Enterprise, for example, to show you which inputs have changed between two build runs. One reason why you might want to know this is to analyze the reproducibility of your build. Another reason is to understand why you are not getting cache hits, although you are expecting them. Here, we compare the inputs of two builds. The second one was executed right after the first and nothing was changed in between. Yet we see that for four tasks, the inputs have changed. For this example, I'm only interested in the cacheable tasks, so I filter for them. That leaves us with the test task. We see that the class path of the test task has changed. Diving in further, we see that there is a file with the name timestamp properties in the class path that has changed, and I can also see the, fully, uh, the full path of that file. Aha, this is an auto-generated file that changes with every build execution and, as a result, always changes the input of the test task, which causes a different cache key to be calculated, and we never get a cache hit for this task. With that information, we can now reconfigure our Maven or Gradle builds to ignore this file when calculating the cache key for the test task. So when you do initial experiments with the cache and don't see good results immediately, those kind of issues are often behind that and they can be usually fixed easily once detected.